But I emphasize from the one that education cannot and should not just be about certificates. Mm. It should be about knowledge. Knowledge. And so as a state, as a government, that's the revolution we brought about. So I'm very wow. proud today to sit back and say, you know what? About half a million lives, half a million children, who will not be Agueros again? Mm -hmm. Because they now know better. Mm. They, can, they can go online. They have a free Wi-Fi. They can browse. So if you say, oh, there's a job somewhere, they'll say, wait a minute, let me Google it. Wow. Mm. There are people, there are people with a background who can now train in all forms of skills and vocations. We're training them to have the right attitude to life. And that's why today I was one of the, I mean, I was very, very glad. I felt so fulfilled today when I went to Ewato. Okay, just let's see. That's that. That's, that's the net. In the immediate, the short term, we now have citizens who you we have a common basis to even communicate can understand each other because part of the problems you are having today with some of these political leaders people who just talk anyhow is because there was no basis they didn't go to school properly there was there's no common ground to converse so that's why there's such di divergence so i don't even know what sometimes when they're talking i don't even know what the issues are what are we quarreling about what is the difference <laughs> I don't understand it. <laughs> what is the problem? You know? <laughs> okay. You know, because your understanding of what government and its politics and you know, is, is not different. Somebody says, oh, somebody is politically dead. How? Somebody hey. can't win an election without rigging. You are calling somebody who has won his election politically dead. <laughs> so, hey, so this is the, ben you know, the benefit of what we are doing today. That by the grace of God, we will not have such rancor in our society going forward. Because at least there's a common ground we can understand ourselves at the primary and at basic level. Second is the issue of tackling the biggest problem we have today, creating jobs for ourselves. Mm. Just to do things for ourselves. You know, even before the coming of the, you know, the, the Western education, we did have most things for ourselves, right? Every aspect of life, we looked for a way, how they had the knowledge, whether it was in the area of medicine, you had your herbalists, whether in the area of engineering, how were the moats built, how were those artifacts created, you know, whether it's in the area of seafaring, how did people move from here to the um, um, Republic of Benin today, how did you know, transportation, you know, that even in all those are in, in, in the part time spots, we had a whole knowledge system, right? So today, we because it was disrupted, today we are rebuilding that knowledge system. And you don't do it by one or two, it's on scale. The difference between what we have done and in Edo in the last eight years and what has been done everywhere else in Africa is that we are doing it on scale. I'm not talking about 1,000, 10,000 people. I'm talking about half a million children oh. learning at the same rate. It's huge. Oh. It's transformational. That's why the World Bank, the Gates Foundation, all over, everybody's all over us to try and understand how we've done this. It's different. And it's earth shaking. So you have to understand that that's part of the reasons why we are having this, you know, uh, uh, this tussle. Clearly, when all the teachers and parents came out this last election, because they knew the benefit of what this government has done on this offering to the children, they're all so sad. Does this mean that this is all? It's all over. Where's you know you? They want to impose on us people who didn't go to school. How can they appreciate the need for education? Today, you have seen growth of small businesses in the markets. You see, these Edura Sabi Rich Centers are now training people, entrepreneurs, market women on how to read, on how to keep their books, on how to do, you, you, you know, how to manage their businesses. But these are the same things we're teaching these children in GSS 1, 2, 3. So, on the short term, we are resetting Edo. 
for the future. Oh. We're building, we're, going to, we're building the smartest core of manpower on scale in Nigeria and Africa. Oh.